Delete that frequency. Delete that tape. Why, 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 why does this man continue to haunt me when it comes to gaming? The ghost of Awada just, just, it just won't go away. It just won't. Looking at this article on Polygon, Satoru Iwata left his touch on the Nintendo Switch. The visionary's influence bleeds through. Now, as you all know, there's two things that are always undefeated that can never be beaten. Gravity and time. Awada's time has been up. It's been up. The Wii U was an absolute disaster. So color me shocked and surprised when I read this article stating, Satoru Iwata, the beloved Nintendo president who passed in 2015, my condolences, played a big part in the design of the company's latest console. <sighs> why? Why? Somebody tell me why. But it gets worse. In an interview with Time, longtime collaborator and Nintendo creative fellow Shigeru Miyamoto, another man who has been defeated by Time, spoke of his former colleague's lasting influence on the Switch, the first new system to launch after Awada's death. Why? Why? Somebody explain it to me. This guy, yes, he had a long legacy. Yes, it was successful. But again, you can't beat gravity and you can't beat time. And the Wii U was proof that Awada's time was up. Many of Awada's long head values when it comes to development are reflected in the Switch. And that is just the bomb on the article. That is just the the nail in the coffin. Really? Really? His... Oh my god. Like, this, this, this can't be real. This, this has to be some sort of genjutsu. It, it cannot be real. Although Awa didn't live to see the Switch's reveal, or its upcoming March 3rd release, his devotion and development know-how come through with a new console, which was likely his final project with Nintendo before his passing. Here I thought that he would be buried with the failure of the Wii U, but no, no, no. The ghost of Awada's gotta come back and create yet another failure. Like, my, my confidence of this console was not high to begin with, but now it has decreased drastically. Now again, I'm not taking away anything this man has done in his career. It was a long, lengthy, successful career, but again, nobody can beat time, and nobody can beat gravity. Not Jordan, not Kobe, not Ali, not Tyson. It does not matter who you are. You cannot beat time. And Awada was a victim of time, as his time, even well before the Wii U, was over.